Hey guys, I want to show you a knife out of my collection today by viewer request. Today we have probably one of the most impressive new offerings out there from Spyderco and that is the Tatanka. As you can see it comes nicely packaged. Some product information. Comes in a very nice box. This is my first Spider Co knife. The real impressive thing about this knife, besides just the size, is the quality of this knife. I've owned quite a few knives from different companies, and by far this is probably the nicest one I have. As you can see, we got G10 scales which are really nicely machined, thin. It just sits in your pocket very well for being this big of a knife. As you can see, full steel backspacer. Let's get it open. You can see in there the liners are machined. So just a real nice feeling knife. As you can see, the recess button right here so you don't accidentally deploy it when you're choked up. And let's get to the cutting part here. This is a nice big slab. Let's see if my camera will focus. If I can swing this around, it's so big it's hard to work with cameras and this knife together. There you can kind of see it. VG10 Spider Co. on top. This is one of their knives made in Seki City, Japan, I think. It kind of has a, a saber grind to it. They did that kind of for the strength of it. The tip is pretty sharp. It's not razor sharp. I think they wanted to go with something that would be great for stabbing. There you can see the designer's logo. So this is just a great knife. Hard to keep in camera. Let me get, let me back off a little bit. Show you just how big of a knife we're dealing with. Almost a knife that's almost 11 and a half inches overall. The blade is about five, a little over five inches per Spider Co's website. It is a heavy folder at nine, nine point two ounces. So you kind of have to have a pretty secure um, method of carrying it. it. Does carry very nicely. And the pocket is very thin for a folder of this size. I've owned a couple um, cold steel five and a half inch blades. I've carried some of the six inch. Let me show you that next to a cold steel five and a half inch. Here's the Voyager. I'll post a link down in the um, description to a test where they actually tested this Voyager against the Satankas. And of course the the cold steel knife one the triad lock is great It's almost strong as a fixed blade, but Check out that video as you can see this Tatanka took quite a bit of um, Abuse you're never going to subject your knife to that as you can see here here's spider co's uh, first use of the power lock a great locking system. I believe this held up to 361 pounds of force applied to the back of the handle in that test. So just a great knife. Comparing that to a lot of knives, the fit and finish is nice. Just this big slab of G G10 is just finished extremely well. 
it's just a beautiful knife. Anyone that sees this is just impressed by it. It has a very nice finger toil to choke up right here and kind of do some delicate tasks. The price point on this knife is a little bit distracting to some people. Let's get this cold steel out of the way. The price on this knife retail is $320. You can pick it up for about $160 on Amazon right now. Maybe a little bit more at the... So about $160 to about $190 is going to be your price point in this knife. That kind of seems high, but what you're getting with this knife is a nice big slab of G10 back here. VG10 steel. Really one of the best steels in the world. That can be debated, of course. Just a well thought out, big Spyderco mega defensive knife. And that's really what this knife fits into. This is not going to be what I call a Walmart knife. That's a knife where you whip out in public, like a place like Walmart or a restaurant, and cut a something like a string or something. This is really a defensive blade. It really has to be coupled when you carry a folder this large with something like just a small couple inch blade if you want. Or you can whip this out, but I don't really recommend it. You probably scare the women and children and make the men envious. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell me some of your favorite knives that you have. I know this knife really isn't for everyone. Um, it takes quite a while to get used to carrying these big, these big folding knives like this. I mean, for a lot of people, they're really not feasible in their daily system. They fit really nicely into a pair of pants, like jeans or maybe um, cargo. They probably really wouldn't fit into a pair of slacks or um, shorter pocketed shorts or even women clothing. It's just a very big knife. Very impressive when you swing out this. And the best way to do that really on these spider because they really don't swing open like this is to flick it a little bit out. If I can do it on camera, then flip it. So you, you're carrying it, you pull it out part way, and then you flip it open. That's really the best way to do it. Or you can do the two-handed method. So it is waveable. You kind of have to do a... Try not to hit something here. A little bit of a spider co wave. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If this is something you're interested in, of course, go out and buy it. You're not going to regret this knife. But as always, guys, please like, favor, and subscribe.